Hi everyone, this is Sombery Medium and welcome back to uh, Detroit Become Human. So last sequence was quite interesting. We had a little uh, case to uh, to solve, you know, finding uh, who killed uh, a guy and it was uh, an android. Well, we already knew it was an android, but we found out he was just hiding in the house and he didn't leave. And I suppose we captured him. Uh, and now I don't know who we're going to play as. Uh, hopefully it will be as interesting as the last episode. Uh, this is Todd's house. Yep. It's way spooky with the weather. Oh, he's sleeping. Oh. Todd. Shh. Oh, oh, come on. Don't wake him up. Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Still smoking. Serve food. Where's the food? There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Can I light up the light? Yeah, that's better. Sir. Uh, napkin. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. You seem gloomy. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? Go out and hire a fucking android. Well, hiring is a big word. I think you bought Joker. it. Androids are so fucking wonderful. Are you gonna rant like that all night? Wait for new instructions. They're never tired. They're sad. Well, I've seen a couple androids that have more problems life. than that. What are you looking at? Oh, come on. What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. No. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account! It's all your fault. Daddy, no! It's all your fucking fault! Well, that was... Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! Oh, that's bad. Can I... You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move. Bust you worse than last time. Oh, I'm not staying. Oh, that's new. L1. What am I doing? Oh, that's breaking an order. It's like kind of a physical thing. Oh, I, I, I didn't make it. It's a bit hard to press X like that when you're already pressing two other buttons. And there I go. So did I become a deviant at that point? Protect Alice. That's... Nobody gave me that order. Reason with Todd. Can I? I'm just gonna go up. Okay, fine. So should I get the gun? Uh, I'll just go to Alice. Nah, that's really a bad idea. 
just hope he's not going to go in for the gun. I saw the, the, the window. that went not too bad. He didn't take the gun. Carry. Can I jump? Uh oh, I messed that up. Oh shoot. Well, that's convenient. We're not in the android compartment. We're gonna get in trouble. Okay, I saw him. Stressful. Uh, how? That's sweet. Whew. Okay. Remember when I said, uh, I wanted things to move a little more in uh, other stories. I think that's happening. It was short, but uh, very stressful. Let's continue. Okay, back to Marcus. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. <laughs> That's sad. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Okay. The birds are still chirping. Scotch, neat as usual. Absolutely. Damn. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Mm, mm, yeah, I guess. Did you leave the light on in the studio? Uh oh. No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check okay. it out. Should I go alone? Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. Nah, uh, uh, no. That's a pretty bad idea. Uh, I have orders. I mean, it seems to be uh, his son, from the figure I just saw. Surprised he didn't hear the door. Leo! Oh. What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch him! He's Look, just gonna, gonna steal him? Sooner or later anyway. Wow. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Uh, can I just talk him away? Be reasonable. This isn't going to get you anywhere. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? 
not perfect like this fucking thing that you know? again get out right now what makes it so special Ooh. anyway huh what's it got that i don't leave him alone oh hey 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 come on let's see what you got marcus don't defend yourself you hear me don't do anything go ahead hit me what you waiting for think you're a man act like one Stop it. Doesn't matter too much of a pussy. Stop it, Leo. Stop it. Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch. Okay. I must. Okay, he's getting deviant too. Oh, I don't need to. Okay. God, you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. He's having a problem. No, I'm gonna destroy you. Then it'll just be me and my dad. I'm yeah, just go away. Oh. Uh oh. Did I kill him? Uh oh, that's bad. Uh oh. Okay. I might have killed him. Leo. Oh my God. Leo, my little boy, Carl, I, they'll destroy you, Marcus. Damn, you're still, you go. still on my side. Get out of here. Uh, okay. Get out. Now, go. Yeah, you should move. Oh, oh, oh. You're gonna think he, he killed him. Don't fucking but move. he did. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, that was horrible. Didn't have many choices here. Mistook Marcus for the aggressor. I mean. Okay, very intense moments, but uh, yeah, I'm really uh, eager to see what's going to happen next. So let's just go. Oh, back with Why'd Connor. Kill him? What happened before you took that knife? Oh, they're inter interrogating him, so they didn't kill him. How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Doesn't want to talk. Say something, goddammit. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You can always try roughing up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it. This one seems to make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. So we can't stress it. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> what do we have to lose? Hmm. Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Okay, that seems a little tough. Extract confession. Um. Hi. Can I? Look at him before. Okay, he still has a lot of uh, his owner. Oh, well. Cigarette burns. That's the bet.
Oh. That's software instability. Okay, he's uh, supposed to be a housekeeper. I guess now I just have to interrogate, interrogate him. So rich, optimal stress for confession. Uh, so I need to stress him a little. Fears. Let's. I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. That's not gonna be stressful. damaged did your owner do that okay that's making him beat you a little more stressed pattern or blame you've refused to talk since they arrested you if you don't cooperate they'll do things the hard way is that what you want still too low Probe memory? That's a bit harsh. Right. You don't seem to understand That's the situation. That's not better. But you I killed need... a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. I need to make him stress more. I'm closer. Wait, what? I'm here to help you. That's gonna lower you gotta it. Trust me. All I want is to get you out of here. Oh. What? What are they going to do to me? They're going to destroy me, aren't they? Uh Should I tell tell the truth? They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. Oh, they that's have gonna no stress choice him. if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? What would you have done there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. Okay, that's optimal. I just accomplished my mission. Are you gonna explain? I don't wanna die. I'm a bit low they still. To me. I, I... I can't. He was right there. Convince it. Um. I understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger, frustration. No one can blame you for what That's happened. too low. Indifferent. Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? I'm not the one accused of murder. Okay, right? that's better. Let's warn him. If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. You'll be dead. Do you hear me? Dead. That's better. He tortured me every day. Okay. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me, scared I might die. So I <laughs> grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. So I stabbed him again and again until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. Oh, I can talk about all the things. So it, it's kind of weird. Uh, let's talk about the, the statue. In the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. 
ってふん。I don't know how it works. Like, why do they have those emotions? Like, couldn't they program them? An offering to whom? Like, did they make them so close to humans that they had to have emotions? RA9. RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. Okay, that's scary for humans. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used oh. to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. Well, he was dead. Did I insist on RA9? RA9. Who is RA9? Okay. Um why did you hide in the attic instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. Well, I don't really have a choice here. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. Yeah, it just came, came out like that. Anger. Hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. It's so weird. So, what are we doing with him? Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Uh -oh. Don't touch me. That's too high. <laughs> the fuck are you doing? Move it. You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, you gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. That's bad. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. Shit. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. Thanks. I'm not gonna get away with it this time. Fuck. Okay, made an enemy. Everything is all right. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room. And it won't cause any trouble. The truth is inside. Okay. I mean, if I'm not already a deviant, I'm gonna be quick, very quickly, I think. Okay, that I wasn't really sure what I was doing to be honest along this. Um, thankfully, there was those indication about the level of stress. Like without that, the game would be impossible. Uh, but yeah, that that was cool again. Like I really enjoyed the the corner sections. Um, 
I'm gonna leave it for now. Thank you all for watching and uh, hopefully you'll come back in the next video to see what's happening. Goodbye! Yeah, in those sections, my heart is just pumping and pumping. Like, I, I, I so much want to, you know, not screw it up. It's cool.